what's up y'all two guys in a bug back here in the garage hope everybody's doing all right uh, we are back here working on some suspension today uh, i'm going to tackle the ball joints much needed thing that needs to be replaced on this one yeah um, we've been putting it off because I, i've seen all kinds of different videos on yes you can no you can't all that good stuff so we're just going to try it and uh, we've got the, the C-clamp for removing ball joints, so we're going to give it a shot. And if it doesn't work, you're going to see that. And if it does, you're going to see that as well. So we'll just give it a shot and see. I mean, what's the worst going to happen, right? Well, I can't drive it for a bit. Yeah, you're still on break. So we figure worst case scenario, if we can't get them off today, we can take it over tomorrow and get them pressed. Um, but we figured let's give it a shot, try to do it ourselves, right? So hang on for the ride and let's see what we can do. Yeah, so that's the plan is we're gonna we're gonna remove well we'll see <laughs> how it's all gonna come apart because I don't know. Um, but our, my plan is is to try and get this out of here and yeah, and then we want to leave them attached to to the torsion bars because that'll give us so the sub dip the, that'll give us a stability on these so that we can press them in and out so again that's the plan so let's see if it'll work So I got the top one removed from the the knuckle, the knuckle, the steering knuckle. The steering knuckle. Yeah, yeah. I got the top one removed, so now I'm gonna try and see if we can't get that one out of there as well. It should come out a little easier now that it doesn't have pressure coming down up from the top. Yeah, Maybe. just. Penetrate that, and while we're waiting, let's try and get that one off. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be. It's got to get pushed that way. Well, is that the way I do? How do they go in? Let's see. Yeah. So maybe I need to. Maybe I can get this one. Well, no. I got to get it off of there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I need to push on this. Is what I need to push on. Right. Not even here. I need to push. I need. I need. Yeah. So we'll just let that one soak, and maybe, maybe we'll get it mm -hmm. by letting it soak. Yeah, it pushes out like that. Yeah. So we can work on getting this one pushed out. All right. So what we need to do. That one's too big. It's slightly smaller. Can't you just take that boot off? Just it won't come off. Hi. You're doing it wrong. There you go. Like that. It's not deep enough.
All right, so hold that for me. Yep. It's still recording. Did it get I'm, it? Is it was it pointing at it? Not really, but it <laughs> it got the C clamp though. Well, we got it. It's all that matters. Yep. I'm trying to point it up a bit. There we go. Not with the old. Boy, that just barely. Wow. <laughs> Hammer. There's the old one. That's perfectly fine. Why do we have to replace it? <laughs> Here. Show it to the camera. I don't think that's how it's supposed to look. I'm no expert, but... I have no idea what you guys saw because this battery died on the phone again. But here's where we're at. Um, so we were able to get the top ball joint out, but when we were trying to get the new one in, we could not get it to press straight. It would not go in there straight on. Um, and let's see if I can grab me the. Yep, grab me that one and then the ball joint, please, sir. it there amongst our mess so it goes in there okay but the problem is is that it's a little too big and so it'll get off kilter and because it goes sideways focus because it goes sideways it it'll tweak it just enough to where this won't go in straight um, we tried several different ways of doing it and we couldn't get it so we're just gonna have to get We're cutting press. our losses. What's that? We're just gonna have to get them pressed. Just have to get a new car? Is that what you're saying? No. No. Oh. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're gonna pull this all out and take them in tomorrow and get them pressed. Um, yep. We ran into several issues trying to take the arms out. Hand me that one set screw there, Chris. Oh, great. Yeah. This one. I don't know if the camera's going to show it or not, but that's supposed to be an Allen wrench. Um, there's not much of an Allen wrench left in there. Or, it's just like a circle. Yeah, it's it's pretty stripped out. I was able to hammer in the Allen wrench into it. It's a number eight. I was able to hammer it in there enough to hold it. And yeah, and so I was able to get enough to hold it and get it loosened. I got the other one soaking right now, and we've got the clamps soaking as well. So I'll have to slide those off. Those just slide out, apparently. I don't Supposedly. Know. Yeah. That's what the book tells us anyway. This is all new. We've never done anything like this before. So yeah. we're learning as we go. Not even on a normal car. Not even on a normal car. No. But we'll get this. This is the first side we're doing. We'll get this side done and then the other side. And we're not going to bore you much here. Once we get everything out, we'll kind of show you yep. how we did everything. and. And then hopefully tomorrow afternoon we'll probably be putting her back together with all new parts. That's the plan anyway. So, all right, hang tight. We'll show you again here. All right, so we're starting in on this side. We got the shock absorber. The shock absorber. You can't talk. We got the shock absorber loose from the top. Um, you got the bottom done there, Chris. All right, so we can we can wiggle that off. Um, we've got. I mean, these, these things were <laughs> these were caked with grease and dirt and everything else. So we had to beat we had to literally beat them with a screwdriver and a hammer to find the set screws. 
for there and there. Luckily, these are facing down, so they shouldn't be as bad. They shouldn't be rusted out like the other side was. So we should be able to get those. And then we've got these clips that we got to get off, and I'll show you how we're doing that. Uh, I went ahead and these tabs, I bent them down. I don't even know if you can see that. There, Chris, hold the camera. So I bent these down on both of them, and I've soaked them with some penetrating... Some of this. Yeah, some PB blaster. Yeah. Um, just to kind of let them soak a little bit because they I had the other side I was I was beating the heck out of them to get them off um, so we're gonna get the shock off and we'll work on the sway bar next and then we'll pull these two nuts off and try and separate these arms from the spindle yeah we're getting there slowly but surely mm-hmm yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. So Chris is over here cleaning these arms off. They were, they were bad, weren't they, Chris? Very bad. Yeah. What are you using to clean them with? Just super, super clean. clean. Yeah. That stuff works great, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I mean, look at this. So he's got. These are all done, and I'll show you some before pictures because it's like night and day. I mean, <laughs> the funny thing is, is. That one looks like we put a new one on there. Yep. But as you can see from the bottom, it's not new. But it certainly came out clean, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So we got them all here, we got them all cleaned up. He's working on the last one there, getting the last grime off of it. And uh, we're gonna go drop them off at... Uh, AC Auto Haas. Yep, Auto Haas. In uh, Sanford. Well, it's not Sanford. Well, it's all, it's north of Sanford. It's almost Deltona. Yeah, just north of where we are. So we're going to go drop them off, and he's going to squeeze us in because he's an awesome guy. And uh, get get the new ones pressed in for us so we can get her back together. So next time you see us, we will be putting together the new ones, and that will be right about now. All right, so... We got the new ball joints pressed in. Chris is over here. What are you doing, Chris? I'm you clean. playing with dirt? Cleaning this up. Oh, that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. Is it fun? No, not no. Really. It's greasy. Yeah. How is that? So that's the whip there. Yeah. So you need to. So I need to take it off. So you know how I did it on the other side? See, I already did the other side. Here. How'd you do it? I was doing that, but then it just wouldn't want it, doesn't want to come out. It'll come out. You just have to be careful and get it right on the the lip. You just have, I can't do it with, with the camera. Yep. But you just have to wiggle it in there and those seals pop out. They, they got a metal reinforcement in those seals so what you may have to do is if you use this and put it like there and hit it with the hammer All right, well, while he's working on that, I'm going to go to the other side because I already got that side mostly done. I'm going to show you over here. So, the new seal is in, top and bottom. And we got those pushed back in. So now all we got to do is get the grub nut on the top and bottom, put that in, torque that down. We got new grub nuts. We got a new camphor adjuster what else did we get new well we got the new bushings for the stabilizer bar stabilizer bar all right so as chris pointed out i got these backwards not a big deal just flip it around the what do you call this the The ball 
joints should be facing inwards. Upwards. Yeah, in, in, yeah. In, like, yeah. they should be facing into each other. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. I was wrong. You were wrong. Everybody now was. I'm right. <laughs> Now that should go in a whole lot easier, and you got to put the camera in there. I need this the grub screw. Oh, oh right. Yeah, I didn't take it out of the other one. So. There you go. I don't know why you didn't tell me to do it this way to begin with. I'm just following your lead. <laughs> <laughs> What? The book says there's supposed to be a notch on the camber adjuster, and that should be pointing towards the car. But these new ones don't have them. What? They don't. Where does it does it show where the notch is? Yeah, like it actually shows you like towards the front of the car. Yeah. So you the low the shortest pivot is or whatever is that way. Yep. Okay. So now what? So now you gotta lift it up like you were having it before. But I gotta get it in here. Yes, yeah, so you so have gotta to lift, lift this one up. You have to lift both of them up, I guess. Yeah. Or I guess you can lift just the one. How's that gonna work? I don't know. That's why they have the special tool. Yeah, they don't have a special tool. No. We're the only tools we got. Ha! <laughs> There's a joke there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So, we got the new arms in. Everything buttoned up. The sway bar is on. The new clamps that came with the kit were, I don't know, they were weird. Um, I'll show you a picture of it. But they are definitely not going to work with this application. So they were too small. They were yeah, they were way too small. But we ended up having to get a new shock because that bushing down there uh, would not. Basically, the shock came out. It was seized on on that shaft. So we ended up having to get a new shock for this side. But not a big deal. We went and picked one up. And we got that side all buttoned up. We got a little, got to, uh, we got to lube the front and get the wheels on it, set it back down, take it for a spin around the block and see how she feels. The steering is definitely uh, more stiff. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming because of the ball joints, because those are stiff as well, obviously with new ones. Yep. So he's going to. We'll get it back on the ground here and take it for a spin and see how she does. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, well, she's back on the road. New ball joints, yep. one new shock. Uh, everything's all greased up, ready to go. So, until the next time, we appreciate you watching. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Oh, and uh, there's a link down here. Sorry about website. Check it out. We've got some uh, shirts on there. I've got. I'm coming up with some new designs. They're not just like for us. It's just V-Dub in, in general. Mm -hmm. So check it out, and uh, we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.